Welcome back, musicians. Today we're looking at a classic hymn called I Feel Like Traveling On, and I am dedicating this tutorial to those of you that are just starting out on your piano journey, uh, serving your churches and your communities. So this is one of the easiest hymns because there's only two chords that we're gonna be focusing on today. And this will serve you throughout the verses and the course. Everything you need is in these two chords. So we're gonna start in the key of F. The right hand will be our focus to begin with. We're gonna start with C, F, and A. This is the F chord. I'm arranging it in this manner because it's very easy to go from here to our second chord chord, which is C, E, and G. So that's the two chords. That's it for the right hand. C, F, A. You notice my thumb, middle finger, and pinky here. And then the second chord is the same fingering. I just shift the uh, middle finger and the pinky down one white key there. Okay, so the left hand then will trace out with those chords. So if you want to make a left hand, the easiest thing to do would just be to play the name of the chord here. So left hand, I'm playing an F with my pinky. And then when I switch to the C chord, I can play the note C with my thumb. Again, there's no shifting in the hand, just thumb to pinky. It's a very easy match there. So to go through that first verse, my heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling on. There's my shift to the C chord. So it's always the F chord at the beginning. One shift here to the C chord. Okay, continue with the verse. My heaven, um, shall be mine I feel like traveling on so in the second line the ending of the verse there's a quick shift feel like traveling there's the C chord and then back to F so that's a quick chord change um, you can do it with the line without it but it just provides a little interest uh, if you're able to get that in there okay so the chorus is pretty much the same thing uh, you'll start with the F chord feel like traveling to your C chord, um, and then back to your F. Da, 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 da. I feel like traveling on. So there's that fast chord change again. So both the chorus and the verse are very similar. The chord progressions are pretty much the same uh, order. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Let's say you want to dress it up a little bit or you're used to playing the left hand a bit differently. So the left hand, um, you could go and do octaves. So you could say, okay, I'm going to do my F octave. So opening up the hand here. And so when you want to go down to the C, you just jump there to the left. And so that could be a very wonderful uh, left hand there. Again, if you don't have a bass player, this is a great way to fill out that bass line. The other option for the left hand would be to play uh, a short chord or a power chord, as the guitarists call it. You could do F and C. So when you play the F chord in the right hand, you just play the F and C. When you go to the C chord, if you're not comfortable shifting your hand around a lot, you could just go G and C. That would match the C chord. Uh, the only thing is that your, your lowest note is G, not the name of the chord, which is C. So that's fine. It doesn't really hurt the, the song at all. Just make sure if you have a bass player that you communicate uh, that change to him or her. So um, I'm going to walk through that. So that would be F and C, and then when you shift it, G and C if you're looking for the, the easiest version. You could also do F and C and then hop down to C and G. So it's just a small change there. And so you can just decide what works best for you and your needs there. Okay, so that is the basic chords for both hands and how that fits together. So the next thing that we usually talk about with hymns is feeling it beat. Uh, a lot of times in more contemporary settings, we have a drummer that plays along with you, so that helps. But you may be in a situation where you don't have a drummer or a drum machine. So I would suggest we add some basic rhythm to this. So one of the easiest ways would just be to strum that quarter beat. So da da heavenly home is bright and fair feel like traveling on nor pain nor death can enter there i feel like traveling on so 
that's a very simple, you're not in too big of a hurry, and it's very steady. So that helps your singers to feel very comforted. Um, so you can do that. You could also, one other option, some of you that sing and play, you might find it easier to kind of trace out the melody, or excuse me, the rhythm of the words. So my heavenly home is bright and fair. So you feel I'm a faster, dum ba ba ba. Heavenly home is bright and fair. Hold, feel like traveling on and hold. Nor pain nor death can enter there. Hold, feel like traveling on. So you kind of stop whenever the singers are doing their hold, their held notes. So those are just a couple of options that provide good rhythm, but don't take too much of a challenge there for us to be able to, to work. Okay, and the last thing that I want to share with you today, if you're just learning how to play, is in the right hand, there's actually a little bit of a bonus here that I want to share with you on this hymn, uh, and that is lining out the melody. So going back to our right hand chord, exactly where we introduced it, C, F, and A, if you take those top three notes, so we have C, F, and A, I'm going to take my third finger on F and walk up to my pinky, so F, G, and A. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen as I'm singing, and I'm going to notice that this little pattern da, 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 happens a lot. And so whenever I hear that pattern, or the singer singing that pattern, I'm just going to line that out. So that way the singers kind of can see where the tune should be, like this. My heavenly home is bright and fair, feel like traveling on. Nor pain nor death can enter there, I feel like traveling on. So you see I kind of follow that pattern. The last thing I'll say about that is sometimes the melody actually goes down too. So if you look again at the beginning of the, the verse, my heavenly home is, all of that is those three notes, one time up, my heavenly, kind of hang out there, and then home is, walks back down. So this is really nice. One of the um, concerns that I get from singers sometimes is if we just play only chords, an unexperienced vocal team or maybe one that's just starting has trouble like, where, do, where does my note start? Where's the melody? So this way you have a solution where you can give them, hey, this is the starting note. This is where we all begin singing. Uh, it's very helpful in that range. Okay, um, if you're looking at this and you go, golly gee was I can't sing that high. My team can't sing that high. It's very simple. If you need to lower it, for example, you can go to E flat. All of the rules that I've shared with you remain the same. Uh, the chord would be B flat, E flat, G, same finger position. And then I would take the third and fifth finger, just like I did in the other key, and lower it down one to B flat, D, and F. And suddenly you've got my heavenly home is bright and fair. So you can lower it very easily to whatever position, but all of the uh, little insights that I shared with you, all the tricks still work. I wish you the best of luck. Good luck to you and your congregations, and I hope this will bring you joy. Have a blessed day.